Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today you will learn program status word of 8051. The 8051 microcontroller has a 8-bit program status word, which is also known as the flag register in any processor. The function of program status word is same as the flag register in any processor. So it is a 8-bit register and also it is a SFR special functional register having address D0. Program status word is a byte addressable as well as bit addressable. Byte addressable means the whole 8 bit can be addressed by LU or programmer. Or bit addressable means individual bit of program status word can be addressed using PSW.0, PSW.1, PSW.2, PSW.3 likewise each and every bit of program status word can be accessed. It is program status word is a 8 bit register and uh, in 8 bit register 7 bits are used. 1 bit is unused which is reserved for future purpose. Out of this 7 usable bits, 6 flags are used by 8051, out of which 4 are max flag. Max flags are nothing but the condition or conditional flags. So when any arithmetic operation or the logical operation is performed by the ALU, some conditions are checked accordingly, those conditional flags are set or reset. Those flags are carry flag, auxiliary carry flag, overflow flag and parity flag and there is a one user flag. So in 8051 there are in total 3 user flag. Out of 3, one is there in program status word and other 2 are included in PCON register. So what is the use of program status word? program status word PSW contains the status of the result after each operation which is performed by LU. When LU perform arithmetic or the logical operations, the status of that result is stored in program status word in terms of those flags which are available in PSW. PSW can be accessed by LU internally or programmer can also access PSW by its functional name PSW or, or by using its SFR address which is D0. So now we will see in detail each and every flag in program status work. First the carry flag which is a MSP. So this flag is set whenever there is a carry out from the D7 bit. So whenever ALU perform addition or subtraction operation and suppose during the operation extra bit is generated which spills out which spills out of byte of a byte of any register or accumulator this flag is generated if you in similar words if 9th bit is generated in addition this flag is set this flag can be set to 1 or 0 directly by an instruction also like set B C or clear C. Set B stands for set bit carry. Clear stands for clear carry. So using those instructions which are written in the program, programmer can set or reset the carry flag. Otherwise, during the addition or subtraction operation, carry flag is set if extra bit is generated. Another flag is auxiliary carry flag. LU is a 8 bit or a 1 byte. In 1 byte there are 2 nibbles. If carry is generated from lower nibble to higher nibble which means from D3 to D4 in addition or subtraction operations which is being performed by ALU, this flag is set. 
and this flag is very useful when you are performing BCD arithmetic operations. BCD stands for binary coded digit. The next flag is a F0. F0 is a user flag. Is a user flag like a GF0 and GF1, which are included in PCON register. So that user flag can be set or reset by the programmer just to note down the some events. So using those instructions like set B PSW5 clear PSW5 okay, this particular bit can be set or even uh, using its SFR address like a D5, this bit can be set or reset. So user flag is nothing but a, a register which is used by the programmer to note down some events. So no, those events are marked by this register. It's totally the, the use of this register, the use of this flag is totally depends on the programmer. How uh, programmer use it. Another two bits are RS1, RS0. These are the register bank select bits. We know 8051 is having four register bank, bank 0, bank 1, bank 2, bank 3. So out of which only one bank is active at a time and uh, which bank will remain active is indicated by these two bits. So these bits are used to select working register bank. So when microcontroller is reset by default bank 0 is active or bank 0 is selected. So it means that RS0, RS1 is having 0, 0 at that time. So these two bits have four combinations and for four combination there are four bands. So each combination is associated with single band. So 0, 0 stands for band 0. When these two bits are set to 0 and 1, bank 1 is selected. For 1, 0, bank 2 will be selected and for 1, 1, bank 3 will be selected. So use of these two bits is to select any one bank out of four available banks. Then there is an overflow flag. This flag is exclusively used for when ALU is performing sign operations. So in sign operations, when there is a overflow of bit, when extra bit is generated and that bit is overflowing into sign bit, this flag is set. Otherwise, it is reset. So I have made one video on overflow flag. You can check the link of that video in the description box. Next flag is the parity flag. Parity flag reflects the number of ones in a register. When arithmetic and logical operations performed, a result is stored in accumulator, which is register A. And in that register, how many ones are there depends on that this parity flag is set or reset. If A register contains odd number of ones, then P parity flag is one. Otherwise, if a register contents even number of ones, this p bit is 0. So we have few examples over here. Suppose we want to add this immediate data into accumulator. So there are two instructions. First instruction is moving 79 h immediate data into accumulator pound sign or hash sign indicates that it's a immediate data and then we are adding 3e hexadecimal into accumulator. 
So after accumulator, result will be stored in accumulator Excel. So after addition, D7 would be a result which is stored in accumulator and accordingly if you check the result this is the result if you check the result accordingly those flags are set or reset so after this addition the status of carry flag auxiliary flag and parallel flag would be 0 1 and 0 because no carry is generated carry flag would be 0 auxiliary carry flag is one because there is a carry from lower neighbor to higher neighbor this one so that's why carry flag is one and parity flag is zero why because there are already even number of ones in in the accumulator so parity flag is c we take one more example suppose if i want to add zero b in accumulator and before adding zero b in accumulator i have moved f by an accumulator using this instruction and after that I am adding 0b into accumulator so accumulator is already contains fy and then I want to add 0b into accumulator after addition a will be holding a result so fy and 0b are converted into a binary and after addition the result would be like this so how this result will affect the flag register we will see here this is the flag register and this is the result so you can see the one extra carry is generated 9 bit so carry flag would be 1 there is a carry from lower nibble to higher nibble or from D3 to D4 so auxiliary carry flag is 1 and uh, A consists of all zeros there, are, there is already even number of ones which you okay the number of ones are zero so even number of ones the parity flag is zero hope you understand the working of the PSW in H051 this is a summary of the carry flag so you can see when carry flag is set or reset auxiliary, auxiliary carry flag is set or reset so this is summary of the program status word Hope you uh, liked the video and understood the concept of PSW in 8051. If you really like the video, do subscribe my channel and hit the bell button.